Greetings, Harvest Bible Church. My name is Tony Svensson. I'm the Go Pastor. Um, we're celebrating Advent this year, and this week our focus uh, is on joy. And for, for many of us, that might be a challenging prospect as we reflect on 2020 and all that it has uh, offered us. Uh, I think all of us are, are finding it difficult maybe to, to focus on joy. And so uh, we, we look at, you know, COVID and lockdowns and uh, for some of us, the, the loss of a job and for others, loss of, of family and, and everything in between. And so we are, we are distracted on, on all the things going on around us. And sometimes it, it can uh, drain us of joy. It can, it can rob our joy. Uh, but we are, we are given an assurance in God's word that, that he has provided for us joy. Uh, and his desire is that we would have that joy to the full. Um, so this morning, I want us to just uh, reflect on the experience uh, that we find in, in the Gospel of Luke as we see the shepherds in the field. And, you know, being a shepherd in that day would have been a, a difficult job. It would have been very uh, lonely. They would have been in isolation. Uh, you can see the hours are not good. They're up in the middle of the night watching over sheep. Uh, and I wonder, you know, what were, what were they sitting there thinking about? Uh, were they thinking about is is, is this my, my, my true calling, sitting out here in a field watching over sheep, or, or was I created for something more? Uh, were they just trying to stay warm? Uh, were they looking at the, the, other, the other shepherds out there, uh, just, just contemplating, you know, the, the situation that they're all in and, and what they're all doing out here? Were they, were they looking up at the stars, wondering, is, is there meaning to life? Is there something greater? Uh, or was their focus maybe on one particular star that was shining brighter than others? And so I want to take a, just take a quick look at this passage in Luke and, and reflect on, on what God has to reveal to us. So we're going to look at Luke uh, 2, 8, uh, 9 and 12 and verses 20. And so it starts off in verse 8. In the same region, uh, there were some shepherds staying out in the field and keeping watch over their flocks at night. So as I as I mentioned, these these shepherds are out here doing their doing their shepherding, doing 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 their uh, their job, and um, they're confronted by uh, by an angel, and uh, it must have been a, a frightening uh, situation. And in fact, that's exactly what the scriptures tell us: the an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord showed around them, and they were terribly frightened. Uh, but the angel said to them, "Do not be afraid." For behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. For today in the city of David, there has been born to you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. So while they're, while they're distracted in, in all the worldliness and focusing on their situations and all around them, uh, they're confronted by this angel. And immediately they're, they're terrified. And I think all of us would be uh, similarly terrified if we were in the same situation. Um, but the angel reassures them, do not be afraid. Uh, do not be afraid of, of them, angels, and, and do not be afraid of the circumstances that are confronting you in life. Because uh, today there is hope. There is great joy. There's the good news that God has come into the world in the person of Jesus Christ. And he's telling the shepherds, that, that the child will be born, um, and he, you'll find him in, in a manger. And so the, the shepherds immediately want to look into this. And so they, they go in, into find um, the babe in a manger, and, and the story is, is verified. And at the end of this verse, in verse 20, it says, The shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just has been told them. Uh, so it, as we begin the story, the shepherds probably, again, lonely, isolated, uh, struggling to find joy, are presented with, with Jesus Christ, our Savior, uh, the, the joy of the, of the world for all people. Uh, and upon that encounter, they, they glorify and praise God. They, they were filled with, with joy, unspeakable joy. And so as we, as we look at um, our own situation in, in, as we come to an end of, of 2020, uh, are we focused on our circumstances? Are we focused on what's going on around us? 
uh, are we focused on Jesus Christ? Uh, the reason we celebrate Christmas, the reason um, we can have joy to the full. Uh, God has come into the world. He's revealed himself in the person of Jesus Christ so that we may have joy to the full. And uh, God only asks that we, we put our focus on him. And when we do that, our outlook changes. And so my question for all of us today is, are we uh, being examples of that joy to those around us? Despite our circumstances, uh, are we complaining and grumbling and, and talking about politics and uh, all the things that are going on in the world? Are, are, we, are we filled with joy in pointing people to, to the joy that's been made available to, the, to all people, to the whole world through Jesus Christ? Uh, because if we're living out and, and experiencing that joy for ourselves, others will see it and they'll want it. And they'll ask, why are you so joyful? Don't you know what, what 2020 has been all about? Uh, and we can say, I know what 2020 is all about, but I have, I have peace. I have joy because God loved me and that he sent his son into the world. And whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And so we'll have an, a, an opportunity to share that joy with a world that so desperately needs it. So I pray that that would be our, our meditation, uh, meditation of our hearts. That would be the focus uh, for us today, is that our focus would be on joy. Our focus would be on Jesus Christ and, and the hope, the peace, the, the fullness of all that comes through faith in Jesus Christ, that we would experience that, that we would live that out, that others would see it in us, and then we would tell them the good news of the gospel, that God loved us, that he came into the world, died, and is risen, and now we have the, the opportunity to have joy eternal. Let our focus be on joy today. God bless.